today is Jesus who came to us as the firstborn and the Lord of a new creation. When we say Jesus is the only begotten Son, it means that He is the unique being. But when we say Jesus is the firstborn, it means that He will bring so many younger brothers to the world. When Jesus came to the world, second time, He did not come as the only begotten Son, uh, but He came as the firstborn in order to lead a new mankind with so many younger brothers, he came as the ancestor of new mankind. It means that there are many younger brothers under the firstborn. The firstborn son came to the earth as a grain of wheat uh, in order to enter into the salvation leading God's children. It is not the physical and substantial issue, but it's an issue of character. It is not the physical or substantial issue, but it is the issue of character because he came to multiply a great number of sons. Newly developed the rice seed that was experimented through dermatology, saved Korean people from hunger, poverty, and misery for 5,000 long years. What an amazing thing it is. Korean scientists developed a new rice seed in the Philippines brought Korean people three times more harvest. Through the seed of Adam, God could not get the victory in the war against Satan and construct God's kingdom on earth. But the new seed of Jesus brought new mankind, made it possible to construct God's Michael. kingdom on earth. God is not only a farmer, but also he is a dermatologist. In the firstborn son, all mankind can become new mankind. The first man was created as the living soul, but Christ is the new creature, he is the second man. Why does Adam try to become like God? Only when Adam becomes like God, he can lead his life according to his heart is pleased and the eyes are pleased. Leading our life according to our hearts are pleased is we have become like God. Yes. Amen. In the heart of Adam, there is the temperament that trying to become like God. Uh, this temperament must be get, gotten rid of. Only then the new mankind can come. Why did Jesus come to the earth? In order to destroy this temperament, he came to the earth as the head of the new mankind, the principle of the Tower of Babel is a contradiction. How can people become united together and become one heart while people all throw themselves into the total competition and murdering? On the day of Pentecost, something came to them from heaven and they thought, ah, oh, our Lord, came to us as the form of Holy Spirit, as a fire baptism. They had some new experience. It is an entirely different experience that they had never had in the past. Because of their experience during the Pentecostal day, the disciples were inspired with redoubled the courage and testified the message of Jesus without hesitating they were not afraid to die. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, mask. Mm -hmm. okay. But the spiritual gifts are temporary things. It is something like DMZ between South Korea and North Korea. You should not stay there too long. God gave them the Pentecostal experience temporarily in order to let them discriminate the difference between Old Testament and New Testament clearly. God did not want them to stay there and repeat using those spiritual gifts continually. There are so many dangerous minds in DMZ. Those defectors should not remain in DMZ too long, but they must come down south clearly as soon as possible. Disciples watched the death and going to Father of Jesus. They got the enlightenment. Ah, he returned to the source of life, the eternal root, God the Father. 
Gnostics uh, during the age of first century church said Jesus is God's son. He's immortal. Jesus did not die. He is God himself. They kept on insisting Apostle John had to write the book of John, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth and he testifies so that you also may believe. Apostle John had clearly seen Jesus going to his father. Jesus has been taken from you into heaven. Will come back in the same way you have seen him going into heaven. Before a lady delivers a baby, she suffers so hard, but once a baby is born, she forgets all her pain in the past because the baby is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. The hope of Jewish people is coming of the golden days as if the new heaven and new earth uh, is coming. Their reality was so difficult. They always believed in the future some new world will come down and the new world is full of happiness. This is the basic way of thinking of Jewish people. They called it as a pain that we received as we await for Messiah. Now we are going through pains, but when Messiah comes, the golden days will surely come too. Mm -hmm. Why people wait for the second coming of Jesus? He will surely come back. When he comes back, the golden days will be opened up. That's why people wait for the second coming of Jesus. As time goes by, we have hoped that the golden days are approaching to us. The final golden road, the conclusion of the Bible, is New Jerusalem, full of golden road, and we are marching toward the castle now. Church will eventually become New Jerusalem. Physically, Jesus went to the path of the cross, but he was going somewhere. We must ask to ourselves, where are you going now? For Jesus, it was clear who was going to Father God. The angels will worship him means that the per perfect human rights and the victory of the kingdom will be obtained. It is the victory of mankind. We have been wandering around so much because of the interruption, uh, interruption of Satan, but that problem will be solved completely and we will be able to get the victory Nobody will snatch out the joy from us from then on. The incomparable festival of New Jerusalem will be opened up in a fantastic way. Yes. Yes. Lord comes back and back always and renews us and leads us to the new heaven and the new earth. Jesus came to the earth as the only begotten Son, an express Father, and He came back to us again in order to become the ancestor of new mankind. He will become the master and the lord of ourselves. This is the world of the firstborn. This is the kingdom of God in the new heaven and the new earth. Church becomes a new always. It is because the Lord comes back again and again continually. That's why church becomes a new always. If the Lord doesn't come back again, church cannot become a new. Those religious leaders grab all doctrines and repeat the same thing over and over for 2,000, 20,000 years, 2000. and the reason, 2,000, mm -hmm. okay, 2,000 years, and the reason why is because the Lord doesn't come back to them. But if the Lord comes back again and again, we can become renewed on and on. Mm -hmm. That's why our life is full of hope. Amen. As the Lord comes back again and again, we can become renewed again and again. Mm -hmm. We don't need to ponder over the past experiences and mistakes and bitter experiences. All we have to do is just become renewed in the Lord daily. Amen. So many people would think Jesus is staying at a very deep, high and holy place like heaven. But actually, he's staying in the world through uh, the members of his body, the church, as he wanted to remain in his body. That's why, uh, that's why he prepared the Last Supper. 
This is the most important key point describing invisible God into visible God, number one. Number two, taking good care of and love brothers and sisters on earth. Amen. Just like Jason and his wife do, uh, do all the time. Yes. Those people who worship idols that cannot talk, as the idols cannot talk, they don't need to talk either. But we met God who is continuously talking. If we don't talk, it is completely wrong. Our God always reveals himself through talking. How does he talk? He talks through us. He doesn't talk at the heaven, but as he talks through his followers, he reveals himself. Suppose there weren't Moses, how could he reveal his mind? Through people who talked, he, we could read God's mind. Therefore, telling about Jesus is telling about the most truthful man among all mankind. We ourselves cannot become truthful. All we have to tell people about Jesus continually, we automatically become truthful. As we testify the truthful man, we have no other way but to become truthful ourselves. Those who are looking at the true diamonds and cannot recognize as the true diamonds, there are people who don't know the true value of diamonds. Same thing is applied, looking at the truth and cannot discriminate the truth. They don't know the true value of the truth. We have to testify all through our life, Jesus is my Lord of life. If we cannot testify this, you have a reputation of being alive, but you are dead. The gate of New Jerusalem means that the gate of New Jerusalem declares the eternal victory. In constructing church, the most important thing are describing invisible God to, into a visible God and taking good care of brothers and sisters. Church cannot be constructed only with love through, through the maturity of life. Other spiritual gifts are temporary and have nothing to do with the life of Christ. Constructing church is a spiritual gift of life. It's a spiritual gift of maturity. If members grow up continually, the victorious church will be constructed. The mature church will be developed into the kingdom and finally transformed into New Jerusalem. The things that we must do is expressing God in maturity of life and we must take good care of Lord's body in maturity. We have to love wholeheartedly when there is an opportunity as a man. Serving brothers and sisters is serving the Lord itself. Jesus said, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. We have to carry out what the Lord wants us to do in the world. Lord, we tend to try to stay at one place for a long time, but thank you for coming to us daily, on and on, and you showed us your new world in a panoramic view, and you blessed us by giving us new duty and assignments. Lord, we want to become people who walk together with you always. When you came as the firstborn, we could see you in a distance, but when you came to the world as the firstborn, we could all take part in your new creation of new mankind. We are so thankful. It is such a great blessing and glory. You'll lead us as God's people, children, spouse, co-workers, heir. Thank you for leading us deeper and deeper. Lord, we want to spread this privilege and glory wider and deeper that we can make invisible God into visible God. Lord, we want to lead our life here in this kingdom as your co-workers and enjoy that glory here. Lord, bless every brothers and sisters here without missing one single person. Allow all of us take part in that glory. Lord, bless us and endow your grace so that we can lead our life as your witnesses and spread this gospel all over the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Yes. We all love Stay you. Stay safe. <laughs>
May God bless you. Amen. Thank you.